<laughs> Sorry, I just woke up. Alright. New PTB is out. I haven't seen anything about this yet. I haven't seen anything, any content about this. I'm really excited, just trying to go in blind. Alright, let's... Let's see the survivor first, huh? Alright, click. Ooh, Sable Ward. She is not afraid to embrace the darkness or the power that lies within it. Personal perks, Invocation, Weeping Spiders, Strengthening Shadows, and Wicked allow her to quicken repair progress, heal herself without a med kit, gain benefits from some status effects? I love her. I love her. This is my survivor right here. What is she holding? Oh my gosh, it's a goth girl! <laughs> I love this design, actually. <laughs> oh my god, I love this, actually. Alright. So this is a new, uh... Perk? The All Things Wicked chapter. Why is that such a cool name? The place where fear festers in terror... Treads is also where those with the gift can reach across the veil. When in the basement near the circle. Near the circle? What circle? Press the ability button to begin the invocation. Invocation take 120 seconds. Other survivors shall see your aura during this and can join on ongoing interaction, increasing speed by 50% each. If they have an invocation perk equipped, they increase it by 100% instead. Once the invocation is completed, you become injured and gain the broken status effect for the rest of the trial. All ge remaining generators gain 15 charges instantly. Okay, um, but if the killer has ruined, that means like nothing, right? <laughs> oh well. I call upon the spirits of the night to aid us in our desperate f uh, f flight? Alright. That's alright, I guess. Strength and shadows. A chance for renewed power down where danger calls home. They're all about the basement. Alright. When, when in the basement, this perk activates. Unlocks the strength and shadows ability, which allows you to heal without a medkit at 60% normal healing speed. When you finish a heal in the basement, you see the killer's aura for 10 seconds. Alright, I guess. I don't know, it feels like it's just wasting time. If you gotta find the basement just to use the perks. I don't know. And then Wicked. They can try to hurt you, but you're not going down so easily. Enough. We shall sometime come to some place. She talks! Okay! Oh, I love that voice I don't know why this perk status this perk starts this perk starts with one token up to a maximum of five for each token you recover from the mangled status effect 20% faster for each 15 seconds spent in the basement gain one token while affected by the cursed status effect you heal 10% faster I don't know it doesn't seem like that great of a perk honestly but I just love this design should be my, my my new main for sure. And she's drinking something. She brought coffee with her, dude. <laughs> I haven't seen her lore. It looks massively long, but I'll read, probably read it later. I'm trying to not see the killer. What the? What? What? Tonight, the world at my feet. Ew. What in the? Oh. 
What is this thing? The unknown? The a being beyond understanding <laughs> though many have tried. Has an axe? Gently used. <laughs> I need to read this. Nobody knows for sure what it looks like, but there are many theories. Its otherworldly form would be the last thing its victims ever saw. Even its victims' belongings would disappear with no sign of where they could have gone. Its personal perks, uh, unbound, unforeseen, and undone, allow it to move quicker, put its tear radius on a generator, and deplete generator progress. Unbound, pain lingers in the air, an alluring aroma that excites the impulses. This perk activates for 30 seconds after a survivor becomes injured by any means. After vaulting a window, you gain 5% haste for 10 seconds. This effect cannot stack with itself. I heard it running. It was getting closer. <laughs> Alright, unforeseen. Terror takes many forms and whispers devastating lies in its victim's ear. When you perform the break action on a generator, your terror radius transfers to the generator for 30 seconds and its radius is set to 32 meters, being undetectable for that duration. Then this perk goes on cooldown for just 30 seconds. Uh, Mom, if you find this, I'm sorry. Undone. Hope is a delusion. Hope is the delusion that keeps its victims alive. When a survivor misses a healing or repair skill check, gain three tokens up to 30. When you perform the break action on a generator, if you have any tokens, consume all of them. For each token consumed, the generator loses 1% total progress and then becomes blocked for one second. Then, once the generator is unblocked, it starts regressing. Erratic behavior in machinery could be related to Redacted. Further testing required? So this thing is from uh, an experiment? Ah, it's so disgusting looking. Uh, let's try a custom match. Wh what's the power? I actually didn't see it. Uvix. <laughs> UVX. Some believe the specimen was recovered by the military for their experiments. The codename Unknown Venom X. Ah... Press the power button to charge UVX. Once ready, press the attack button to launch UVX, a bouncing projectile which cre creates a blast area upon impact. Survivors become hindered if touched by UVX while airborne. Survivors touching the blast area become weakened. Huh? Weakened survivors lose health states if touched by blast areas. Survivors lose weakened by successfully staring down the unknown. Special ability hallucinations. The unknown will intermittently create hallucinations. Hallucinations cannot be created while charging UVX, performing interactions, or in proximity to map objects like hooks. Whenever survivors are touched by blast areas or otherwise become weakened, the next hallucination spawn time decreases by 10 seconds. The unknown can teleport to hallucinations leaving behind a temporary decoy. Survivors can remove hallucinations from the trial with the dispel ability. Weakened survivors take longer to dispel. If dispel is not completed, survivors become weakened in trigger killer instinct. Ah. map oh this map is so pretty what oh my god this map right a cinema oh my god this is such a cool map is this
Ooh, this is the main room. Did I melt through that? Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, I gotta get going. This map is beautiful. I gotta down someone. This map is so beautiful. What the? Oh, hold up. She has that. I don't know what that does. This map is so beautiful. Oh, it goes on cooldown. I guess all the loops on this map seem like they're okay. Up. Someone was here. Capture you. There's even more to this map. This is huge. Uh. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to see the Mori. Go for the save, people. I want to see this Mori. And you lift this. Alright. There she goes. I really want to see this Mori. This map is massive. I didn't get to really see it. Oh well. I don't understand this power too much. I don't know, might need to see some guides on it. Family residence? Aw. I was hoping to go for the new map. But I finally understand how this killer works. So that's good. Playing with bots right now. So I definitely want to get here with my power. I do that. And that helps me. I'm not going to be able to show it, huh? Oh yeah, that was superior anatomy. Oof. Dude, I love that new survivor. 
I'm undetectable. What I can do with that, if I get the chance, is damage and uh, take a health state off them if I hit them with that again. See the Mori. So whenever it stands up. That's the same. So the way you get rid of that thing is by uh, staring at him. power to work.
Oh, that's such a cool boy. It's gonna be deadly. All right, that's the uh, new killer, the unknown. I'm sorry, I can't really show it off. You know, bots and all that. I love it. Oh, I love it.